Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Moto Shop. I'm your host, Sam Barber, and with me today we have Ellery Connell. Ellery, what are we going to be covering in the world of Moto? Well, today we're going to look at uh, transparency. Um, a lot exciting. of times the, 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 we'll see issues when we try to do something that's transparent, like we'll take this and we'll, we'll make it something transparent, mm -hmm. is that if we go on here and I have a volumetric light set up, we'll cover that in another episode, right. uh, but just for, we can take it that there is a volumetric light on there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just the regular distant light though with volumetrics turned on, so nothing fancy. Um, now we see we have our diffuse color. Let's say we want to make this, you know, a red transparent or orange there, transparent window. So right. I turn on orange and then I take my transparency and I turn it up to 100 and it disappears and nothing happens Where'd and we don't go? have any color or anything. Yeah. Um, I do have the background hidden, so we're seeing that gradient backdrop through it because it's transparent, but nothing's really happening. Okay. Um, and this is this is the issue that we come into, is that really transparent objects that are 100% transparent, or mostly so, don't have any diffuse amount, just like reflective ones don't. So we're going to turn that off, mm -hmm. see again, nothing happens, and that's because we don't have anything mapped to the transparent color. So if I take this and go in and pick one of those orange colors, we see we get orange, and now oh. our volumetric light is even coming out orange. And you can get as fancy with this as you want to. Um, so we're going to get a little fancier, and we're going to go over. And I Googled stained glass window, and I found the perfect stained glass window. Perfect stained glass window for any <laughs> cathedral or house of worship. <laughs> and I pity the fool who doesn't like it. So we're going to go over here, and we're going to drop that in. So let's go over to the desktop. And we've got Mr. T here. Uh -huh. And we're going to take him, we're going to throw him into the stained glass window material. Okay. And we can see that he mapped funny because he's set to the UV map. Yeah. So we'll fix that real quick. Uh, we'll just change him to planar. Okay. And we'll hit auto size. And he drops Perfect. right in how he should be. Yes. Okay, but again, nothing happened because right. we have no diffuse. So what we need to do here is we're going to change this from diffuse color to transparent color. And all of a sudden we get something happening. Huh. So now the, the <clears> image <throat> is actually affecting the transparent uh, color that's pouring out of it from the Absolutely. other side. Okay. And another thing that we'll want to have in conjunction with this is actually do some subsurface uh, scattering. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, we're going to use these all the same way. So I'm just going to create an instance here. Mm -hmm. And I, that way I can just edit one if I need to later. And I'm going to change this one to a uh, subsurface color. And then I'm also going to use two of these that will control my amount of subsurface and my amount of transparency. Nothing changed right now because my subsurface is set to zero on my material, but if I duplicate this, and if you duplicate an instance, it stays an instance, so that's right. handy. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to change this one to subsurface amount, and we can see it changed the way that the particles, uh, the, light part rays, uh, the light rays were going through there, uh, changed the density of them. And then we're going to duplicate it again, and we're going to change this one to transparent amount. And I can see this also tapered off. One difference here on the transparent amount one, I'm going to make it so it's not going from 0 to 100. Mm -hmm. I want it to go a little bit less of a range. So I'll change it from 70 to 100. Now you can see you've got the light rays coming through. And and all of these are stacking. So you've got a transparent amount, subsurface amounts, and, mm -hmm. and a subsurface color and all that. They're all working together Absolutely. to build this volumetric effect. Yep, so if we do, if we add just something around so we don't get all this light coming around, mm -hmm. I'm going to select those edges and just edge extend and scale those out. And then I'm going to select oops, all those and just give them the default material here so that, well, let's call this just wall then. Oh, okay. Doesn't want to do the default material, we'll do that. And that's just blocking out the rest of our light now. Sure. So if we go here, we can see. <laughs> Saint T. <laughs> yes. Reminds me of every Sunday morning at my place. And now if you do anything with your volumetrics, go in and add turbulence or anything to the volumetrics to add more of a look of, you know, dusty particles in the air, they're all going to come through and they're going to get colorized by our transparent amount and our subsurface amount. Wow. That's brilliant. Wow. I can't wait to, to, to try this one out with my own Mr. T. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Ellery Connell. Thank you. And uh, folks, the next time someone says, I pity the fool, they won't be talking about you because you've been watching Motoshop. <laughs>